As you know, our state is moving into phase one of reopening this week. And we understand that there are so many people who feel a lot of different things at the same time. Maybe excited to be able to start looking for work again if you've lost your job. Maybe concerned over potential health risks or just trying to figure out how to rebuild from this unique time that we've come through. But throughout the Old Testament, there are these beautiful and pivotal moments where the priests and the prophets would speak favor and blessing over the people of God. And when a priest and a prophet spoke blessing over God's people, blessing would fall. When a priest or a prophet would speak blessing over kings, the nation would be blessed. And our team and our senior pastors have been so stirred with faith that this is a day, a pivotal day, as we take this step into faith one to speak blessing and favor over you and your family. I was speaking to a family this week who uh, one of the members of the family had lost their job. Their job is beginning to come back this week, which is an answer to prayer. But now they're wrestling with the tough decision of moving their child into daycare, which was the usual rhythm, but now it's a little weightier. And so we want to think of stories like that and of business owners who have navigated these crazy couple of weeks. And we want to speak blessing and protection and favor that God is for you. And we're praying it over you and your children and your family family Amen. and your business. Amen. And so today that's exactly what we're going to do. And I want to let you know that when you're participating in something like this, don't just watch us pray. Don't just listen to us pray. Yes. Posture yourself to receive. Hands up saying amen yeah. because when blessing is falling, you want to posture yourself to receive it. So to start us off in a moment, Pastor Amy is going to be praying over individuals in our church, families, names, lives, stories, and then I'll be praying over businesses represented in our church. And then Pastor Jeff is going to speak prophetically and declare over our church and our state. But would you stand up wherever you are, join with us in faith, and Pastor Amy is going to lead us in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We join our faith right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And what we believe is a divine and holy moment unctioned by the Holy Spirit himself. And we just pray right now in the name of Jesus over the families and the lives that represent City of Life Church. Lord, we just declare that your favor would be upon them, yes, God. that your grace and your peace would be upon them, God. Every decision they are navigating, everything that they need to decide as a family, Lord, that you would allow divine wisdom to come into their homes, into their minds in Jesus' name. We just speak healing in Jesus' God. name. Lord, we pray right now for Sully Sullivan and the Sullivan family in the name of Jesus. We pray over Pastor Gary and Pastor Janice in the name of Jesus. We pray over the Sanchez family right now in the yes, name of Jesus Lord. over the Arroyo family yes. right now in the name of Jesus we lift up the lives of those that represent this beautiful church family God and we ask Lord that you would just allow your grace and your peace yes, to God. cover them and to carry them in this next season God Lord where there's been pain Lord let joy come into that home God where there's been frustration and anger and resentment let there be forgiveness flooding their lives God God. Lord, we just pray right now for divine protection in Jesus' name over the lives of City of Life Church families, God. Lord, that where there would be easily fear could come in, in Jesus' name, they would know that your hand is upon them, that your favor is resting on them, that you are divinely protecting and going before them in Jesus' name, preparing a way for each and every one of them in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you salvation's coming to homes. We thank you that healing is coming to homes. God, we thank you, Lord, that your favor is coming into their lives in a supernatural and divine way, Lord. And we just thank you for that. We declare that over our church family in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Lord, as I hold in my hand this book filled with businesses and business leaders, people who have asked for prayer over their business. God, I thank you that they're not doing this in their own power or in their own might, but they have said, God, come and bless my efforts. Let it be for your glory. So Father, as we prayed over every business in here, we're speaking vision and purpose and restoration, Father God, that these people represent the kings in our economy, people who have been blessed with wisdom and resource. And we 
we speak revitalization over their businesses, that their efforts would be blessed, that you would give them creative ideas on how to meet the needs of the people they're serving. Father, we lift up Cindy at State Farm, Father God, that you would bless her efforts, Father God. We lift up the trademark lending team with Yuli and with Nelson, Father God. We lift up Fire and Ice AC. We lift up AJ's Air to you, Father God. We lift up Tile It to you, Father God. Lord, these businesses that are not only led by believers, but Father, that are aiming to reach people and help yes. people. We speak prosperity Amen. and hope and Amen. resource that would come to them, yes. Father God. And I'm praying for supernatural favor, favor that doesn't even make sense, that yes. businesses would thrive because your word says that your favor surrounds us like a shield yes. and what the enemy intended to be an attack yes. will be turned back upon him yes. and that these businesses yes. will thrive in a dry and weary land, that these businesses will be like oasis in the dry land, that there will be resource and blessing, that they are blessed to be a blessing, Father God. We lift up your cause corporate giving program, Father God. We lift up integrity home improvement to you. God, that every business leader in City of Life, every business leader in Central Florida would feel your hand upon them and that your fruitfulness and your favor would come upon them. And we pray that tomorrow as phase one comes, even though some businesses are at 25%, some are trying to navigate how to operate in this new stage. God, I thank you that you go before us. You've already paved the way. You've already opened the doors. And as employees go to work tomorrow and business owners resume their rhythms, that you have gone before us. You've paved the way. And we don't step out in fear. We step out in faith. We release favor on these businesses in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. This book is just full of business owners. If you could see the names that are on these lists, just name after name after name of families. Every one of these is just families. And right now, today, on The Blessing, an invocation of protection, favor, and hope. In this moment, I'm going to speak over our state. I'm going to speak over our city. I'm going to speak over the families of our church. I'm going to speak over every person that is watching. I'm going to tell you something. I don't even, I haven't done the numbers. I, I haven't counted. I don't know anything like that. All I know is this is what the Lord told me when I was on my way here. I said, God, I'm going to be open to say whatever you want me to say. And here's, here's what I know is that after the resurrection, Jesus appeared to people for about 40 days. Uh, at one time, about 500 people saw him. Then there was this thing that was called Pentecost that was down the road, and and that's like 50 days after the resurrection. I know that something significant happened at Pentecost that changed the world. And I know that we are in a season right now where it is post-resurrection, and in this time, Jesus is appearing. Jesus is revealing himself through families. Jesus is revealing himself in brand new ways. And God spoke to me and he told me that through this season of darkness and through this season of quiet, and here's the exact words he told me, there is going to be an explosion of creativity. There is gonna be an explosion of hope. There is gonna be an explosion of revival that is birthed out of this very time. The Bible says that no weapon that is formed against you will prosper. We have seen that there are weapons that are formed against us, but they will not prosper. It doesn't even mean sometimes they don't affect us. They will not carry out though their intended plan. The enemy will not destroy us. He will not push us back. As a matter of fact, he is going to cause us to go to a brand new level. I speak it over our church. I speak it over our city. I speak it over our families. Come on, let's rise up together and sing this together one more time. We bless you. May he bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you today in Jesus' name. Come on. Amen, amen.